So let's actually create a couple examples. Um, I'm going to pull from the forum post. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simply copy and paste this. And I'm going to create a comment for each of the different cases that we're going to be covering. So we want to rewrite this URL to this one. So just to be clear, the way mod rewrite works is it looks for a specific pattern in the URL. So in this case, um, in this particular example that I'm going to be writing in a second, it's going to be looking for login. If it finds it behind the scenes, not visible to the end user um, in the browser, the server is going to go ahead and display the contents of this file. And what that means is that using mod rewrite we can basically make our URLs anything we want. As long as it matches the pattern the server is smart enough to automatically um, display the correct content. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the last couple examples that I want to show you today, um, at least the comments for them. So we did the first one This is the second. And this is the third. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete all this. Save it. And uh, let's start working on our first mod rewrite line. So as I mentioned a minute ago, um, like up here with the syntax, this rule is going to start with rewrite rule. Um, then we're going to use a pattern, and this is done with regular expressions. Hopefully you have at least a faint familiarity with regular expressions. Um, but if not, that's fine. I'll try to explain things as best I can. Um, we're going to start with this character which is shift six on your keyboard if you're not really familiar with using that. This indicates the start to the pattern that we want to match. And then I'm going to use a dollar sign to indicate the end of the pattern that we want to match. So this is important, for example, um, because let's say I do this. Um, this pattern by itself at the moment will only match test. However, if we remove the ending dollar sign, it could match test one or two or whatever you want. So these characters are important to uh, deliminating, deliminating, <laughs> delineating, excuse me, um, the beginning and end of the pattern that we want to match. So I'm going to put that back in. And the pattern that we want to match here is login. And just in case the user decides to add an ending slash, I'm going to do slash and a question mark, like so. And this question mark indicates that the preceding character, in this case the slash, is optional. So the user may include it or it may not. Either way, the pattern will match. So this is the pattern the server is going to look for. And if it finds it, it's going to automatically display the contents for index.php question mark action equals login. And then after that, we want to use two flags. And those are displayed within brackets like so. And flags are one or two uppercase characters. Um, the first one I'm going to use is nc which stands, I'm not sure what it stands for exactly, but it indicates that the pattern that we're matching is case insensitive. So login all lowercase will work and login all uppercase will work. So um, that's pretty important. And the second flag that I'm gonna use, which is separated by a comma, is L. 
and that indicates that this is the last true right rule that's going to be used. So if the pattern is matched, it's going to rewrite it to this URL and it's going to end. So this means that it won't continue further down the file potentially matching other rules. Um, and specifically about flags, there are several or actually quite a few flags that can be used. Um, I'm not going to cover all of them, I'm just going to cover the two or three that I think are especially useful and feel free to search, search Google or take a look at some of the resource links I'm going to talk about at the end of this screencast and um, have a look at exactly what you can do with flags. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file and I believe everything is good to go here. So I'm going to go back to my index.php and I'm going to tweak this file a little bit just so we can test this. So I'm going to start with an if statement and I'm going to check if the action variable within the URL is set. So if it is set, we're going to display it in the browser. So echo Um, actually, I'll do action. And then if it's not set, I'll do action, echo, action. Or actually, I don't even need, need to do that. I'm going to do none. Okay, so I'm going to save it and let's do a quick preview. Okay, so this is index.php. You'll notice by default, action is none. So let's quickly test this. And you'll notice the um, page changes and action is test. So that's working correctly. So now let's go ahead and try our mod rewrite rule and make sure it's working. Let's put in login. And you'll notice we automatically display the correct file and the login action um, displays within the page. So we know that our rewrite rule is working correctly. It's seeing the login and it's transferring us to the correct page. Um, and if, for example, let's try something else. Let's try a test. You'll notice it's not found. It only matches this specific rule. Um, and on this last little test, let's try with an ending slash. You'll notice that works as well. So like I said earlier, this question mark indicates that the slash is optional.